Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well we are going to talk about something that a few of you have asked me um, and it concerns a security feature in Windows that by default is off but that has been exploited a few times and it's um, something that I think Microsoft should address and um, here's the thing. So 10 years ago, yep. 10 years ago, it was discovered that you could modify um, Windows DLL files, which are the uh, dynamic library files, and add to it, but that also meant you can add malware to it. And still, the digital signature of Windows holds true. So when that happens, that modified file that now can distribute malware is still signed and Microsoft Windows doesn't see a problem. And the reason is, is there's a fix. Microsoft did issue a fix, but it was optional. It never pushed the fix unless you wanted to have that fix. And to make things worse, it is that even if, even if you applied the fix, what happens is that if you upgrade to Windows 11, Windows 11 will revert that fix back to unfixed like it was. So people that had fixed it go to Windows 11 and don't even know that, well, now you're not you know, secure anymore technically. So um, the latest to have been compromised with this is a company that has a voice over IP software it's uh, 3CX, and what happened is that there's a malicious file that is D D three D compiler forty seven DLL that was used. It was modified and has malware, and now a lot of the files from that company that uh, are downloaded to install the software contain that malware within the DLL. So it gives you an idea that it. Probably is a good idea for Microsoft to fix this once and for all. Now, you might wonder why does Microsoft not fix the issue with the DLL file? And it's simple. It's because some companies don't go through the problem of fixing or making sure that their DLLs are registered and signed. So that means if you enable this, you will run into problems with um, with software that you can install that won't have signatures in their DLLs. And Windows will say, well, there's a problem with these files. They're not signed, so I can't let them run. So the, that that's why it never got into the mainstream fix, is that there are developers out there that have not signed their DLL files. Um, there is a way to actually fix it, and uh, the um, thing on the uh, fix is simply registry keys that have to be modified. Um, I won't show how to do it, um, but basically there are ways that, um, you know, there's two registry keys that you can uh, change in each key local machine. Uh, that will actually turn on the enable certification check of the DLLs. Um, the problem is, is it might cause issues with some of the software you have installed. Now, there's a couple of people that have done it. They made a modification. They say they haven't run into problems. Uh, some say that they have run into problems with Google Chrome that apparently has some, when it upgrades, doesn't have signed DLLs. So um, the best would be for Microsoft to make sure that, you know, and tell everybody, look, you got to have your files, you have need to have signatures on their files uh, to make sure that they're certified and enable this. But what's really, really dumb is that if you have personally enabled it, uh, the fact that Windows 11, when you upgrade to Windows 11, it actually reverts back is kind of a little dumb. So that's the story. Um, now, how 
bad is this as a security? Well, it's bad in one way. If a company, and that's what happened to the voice over IP company, gets compromised. Well, that's when you can download a perfectly legitimate file from a known source and get malware because they don't know, but one of their DLLs have been modified. So be very careful where you download the software. Make sure that you always download software from the trusted sources, not from anywhere else to avoid this kind of problem. But um, as you can even see, even legitimate companies can sometimes be bitten by that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.